To set up a new project using Docker Compose, start by creating a Docker Compose file. Then open it in your editor to find the version of Docker Compose that we want to use, along with the service for kube.js that we're going to call kube. We're going to use the image kube.js slash kube. We're going to create some port mappings for port 3000 and 4000. We're going to set an environment variable kube.js dev mode to true. And finally, we're going to create a volume mapping, mapping the current folder to slash cube slash conf inside the container. We'll save that and we'll run docker compose up. In a short while, the stack should be up and we should be able to visit the developer playground. Let's just run docker compose ps to c. And we can see that the ports have been mapped correctly. Going back to the browser, let's go to the developer playground. And now we see that set up a database connection screen. For this example, we're going to use Postgres. Here we'll enter the database credentials. And click apply. Once KubeJS connects to the database, we can create schemas for the tables. Let's create one for the orders table. Now that we've generated the schema, let's check it out in the build tab and do a query for orders by status. You can now see the data in a tabular form. Let's see it as a chart. We can also see the JSON query sent to the KubeJS REST API, and we can see a code example using React and Biz charts. If we go back to our editor, we'll see that the schema is available here too. Next steps from here would be to generate more schemas, query the KubeJS REST API directly, or integrate, integrate KubeJS in your front-end application with our libraries for Angular, React, and Vue.